See, yesterday there was no one allowed to offer flowers to the monks ex except me and the princess, huh? Except the princess and I. <laughs> There's some better English. <laughs> Nick? Nick, wa? <laughs> it's not true, is it, huh? You like my clothes? <laughs> That is good, so the, the monks here are more careful like this, huh? This is good. <laughs> but then but then you can you can only do a monk's job and nothing more. A little limited. Huh? In my very humble opinion. Guess no woman can go near. Yeah, anything they cannot help. Hmm? Suppose a woman in trouble, they cannot touch them. Same with many rules and regulations in the world. Mm. Like there was a very sad story in Thailand long time ago, when I was supposed to be the King Rama V of Thailand. I'm not sure whether I was, but uh, somebody saw it that I was the King Rama V. You know many stories about how people saw me that I don't see myself. <laughs> Just like uh, last week uh, somebody saw that I had a son, fifty-two years old. <laughs> you remember? Oh, that somebody saw me that I was the Queen of Cambodia, a thousand years ago, over one thousand years ago, thing like that. Huh? I cannot see myself as a Queen of Cambodia. Can you? Yes? yes? The Queen wear like this? <laughs> Anyhow, the Queen of Cambodia, at that time she was a very holy person. She was a practitioner. So in the palace now, there's still left over a kind of souvenir. You can come see them. I don't know if you're allowed to come in when the king is at home, but uh, we can come in when the king... We, we did came in, come in when the king was not there. And there was a kind of mountain, a you know, small mountain built inside the... Or maybe it was already a mountain or a hill there, inside the uh, palace vicinity, a uh, compound. And around the mountain there were built small caves, just like those were built in Meoli. If you stay in Meoli, you know. And in each uh, cave now, there is still a Buddha status or monk status sitting inside, yeah. Uh, representing those people who practiced with the queen at those times. And the queen is supposed to say that when, uh, f f f f over a thousand years later, she will come back to Cambodia and help them. And so then they find no one else to replace that, so they just take me out to be a victim. <laughs> or oh, some of our disciples who live in Cambodia, yeah, just assign me that, <laughs> that kind of work. <laughs> And you know, that cost me millions of dollars up to now, <laughs> and I'm still paying for it, <laughs> for the position. <laughs> yeah, you know, some people buy position in this world, you know? Hmm? I, I will come to the sad story later. First good news and then bad, bad news later. <laughs> okay. Huh? You know, people buy position in this world, right? In old time, people buy any position in the, in the, uh, in the court, huh? A king buy some money or property. Yeah. <laughs> some people buy a vi uh, you know like a position in the local um, administration. Huh? I think people still do now. You can buy yourself uh, an ambassador job huh? somewhere. I wouldn't say where. Huh? Don't blame me. Huh? I heard it. Huh? Maybe it's, it's open. Huh? It's official. 
If you're good also, not that you're bad and you can buy yourself, but perhaps sometimes people don't even know who's good, huh? So just sell it and then see later. <laughs> okay. What's that? So perhaps because my disciple just bought me a position of a queen of Cambodia, dead queen even, cost millions of dollars. <laughs> don't you ever buy this position, okay? He bought it for me and then I had to pay for it. Can you believe that? This is just a joke, huh? By the way, huh? Some people saw it in the meditation, huh? I wouldn't tell you yes or no, huh? I wouldn't say it's such a stupid thing. <laughs> I know. So now let's uh, let's go back to the uh, the sad story about the rules and regulation in this world. We were talking about monk's rule, right? Mm, so now there was a sad story in in Thailand. I, I don't know if it's official or not, but I am told by Thai people that uh, when King Rama was alive, you know, well, uh, King Rama's dynasty, there was a queen, very beloved, beloved queen. She was pregnant even, and she was crossing the river on a dragon boat with a lot of attendants, uh, eunuch, yeah? eunuch, eunuchs. And uh, uh, you know many yes, uh, and then sh- the the boat happened to capsize, and because nobody's allowed to touch the queen, she died, and the king went crazy. Not that he was really crazy, but he was so sad, so sad, so sad about that event. And when I heard that story, I was so sad and I went crazy too for a while. Oh, I feel so terrible, as if I have to relieve it again, you know? feel as if it happened to me, and if it's concerned me, and it is, it's really betrieved now. What's it? Beethoven? <laughs> English, what is it? Concerned, concerned me, huh? It's really related to me, you know? If it concerns me, and if it's my own story or something, oh, I feel terrible. Well, I say to the person, you shut up, shut up, shut up, don't talk. I cannot bear it to hear you continue again, you know? I feel terrible. I say, my God, even if you have to risk your life to save the queen, why don't they do it? I don't think the king would punish anybody who rescued the queen in that situation. It doesn't matter what kind of law it is written, right? This is an emergency, and it's a beloved queen. And even if the king persecuted you, you do it, right? But people were so afraid, so afraid, because the law was very strict. And you know what it's like when you are an officer in the court, under the rules, uh, under the king too long, and you became brainwashed into this kind of uh, fear, fearful attitude, and you dare not even move. You cannot react anymore, you're numb into subservient. And this is very sad. Any rules, any regulation, any rigid, rigid, uh, I'll say, uh, discipline I- is bad. <laughs> huh? It's good for somewhere, but it's not good anywhere. Not good all the time. You have to see the situation and do it. Hmm? Good for other people. We must do it. Huh? in this kind of emergency. An emergen- in emergency, if we can, always others come first. Eh? But don't jump into the river to rescue somebody if you couldn't swim. <laughs> For example, and say, oh, Master, say others come first. <laughs> in this case, both of you come first. <laughs> uh, if you cannot do it, of course, and don't. Or find the other way, more clever way to do it. There are many ways to do things, huh? not only one. And so there comes, so for example, being a monk is very good, huh? but if you want to be a monk, you have to be strict and keep the regulation so that you become, uh, I'll say, at ease. Huh? You relax and you keep your purity huh? as a monk, of a monk. Then uh, in that case, the dress is good for you. The monk's dress is at least some protection, huh? outer protection. When the people see you a monk, at least they think twice whether they want to <laughs> wink <laughs> their eyes at you or not. <laughs> I mean, or maybe wink twice or only once. 
<laughs> or at least after they win twice, they think, oh, better not the third time. Hmm? Or at least they think again, huh? To wink <laughs> before winking, they close their eyes huh? and recite the five names first. <laughs> then decide whether they should do it. You never know when karma comes, huh? and when the peoples are weak in passion and desire, <laughs> and in protection, it's useless. But at least psychologically speaking, huh? some outer uh, protection is not bad. Huh? At least you say, I try my best, huh? I wear my uh, bulletproof <laughs> vest. <laughs> yeah, the bullets from the woman are sharper than any gun <laughs> pellets, <laughs> because it penetrates deep into the secret chamber of your heart, and it stays there for some time. <laughs> Sometimes it stays there forever. But <laughs> maybe the monk's robe a good shield. <laughs> I don't mind the Korean men wear monk's robe. I don't know why I like them to wear monk's robe. Maybe I'm attached <laughs> to the monk's robe. But when they wear monk's robe, well, they look good. They really look like a monk and a nun. So I like them to keep their uh, appearance, yeah, the way they have chosen to be, yeah. it's good. Hmm? Good to have some monks and nuns around. It's good for decoration, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, something new, huh? <laughs> something special, huh? And so that we will not get bored with all this long hair like mine, and you know, <laughs> all this makeup and all this fake uh, mask. <laughs> anyhow. Hmm. But being special is also sometimes a burden, huh? Everybody look at you, huh? Don't they look at you, monks? Reverence? People pay attention to you too much? Or not? Yes or no? Yes? yes? Is, <laughs> is that right? You try to escape and, and hide yourself in our, own, in our you know, common floor clothes? Is that the reason? Oh, God. Then in this case, monk's robe is <laughs> is uh, is a problem. <laughs> see that? You see that? And that's why I changed into this kind of clothes. But it's all right. It's good to test yourself. Uh? See how tough you are. Huh? <laughs> hey, you all, you don't pay attention to the monks, okay? When you see them, just close your eyes and turn the other way, <laughs> as if they were not there. <sighs> wow. Cambodia is cool, huh? I see you all wear jacket and wool and stuff, just like in Germany. <laughs> Come on, how can it be, huh? It's not, it's not cold in 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 Phnom Penh, huh? huh? Very unusual, huh? Hmm, maybe because of all these uh, snowflakes coming here, <laughs> they bring the chill with them. <laughs> they bring the chill with them, huh? It's unusual, really. Even for this region, oh, yeah, I feel like I'm in Taiwan or, you know, near New Year or something. I was thinking of a fireplace yesterday already, <laughs> or we a barbecue or something. Oh, it's cool. It's not cool, it's cold. Huh? Really? But it's lovely, huh? It's, really, it's not that cold, it's just chilly, huh? And it's nice. Anyhow, even if it's not so cold, it's also good. It couldn't, shouldn't be so cold like this. Ah, we can make fire tomorrow, but don't say it too soon, I don't know. <laughs> if it's cool, we do it. If it's not, it's all right. Evening almost bearable, even, huh? Um, maybe because it's fresh air here, huh? And all around is now green with grass and trees. That's why it is. Oh, how can Cambodia become like this? I don't believe it. And you know what? Not only Cambodia, Thailand became like this lately. Yeah. It's not hot as, as this, like this. You ask the Thai people recently where I stay, yeah? Always every day rain or cloudy sky. Since I came, since April. 
You don't believe it, do you? It's true. Every day cloudy and cool, hey, or rain. <laughs> so my gardener don't have to water the hardly have to water the the, the 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 trees or the grass around my house. And really, really, they 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 rain, it rains almost every day, almost every day, or every two days. And it's always cool and cool. And in the evening, I come out walking, you know, turn off all the aircon and fan. And I say, my God, this is not Thailand, is it? <laughs> oh, and this, the Thai people say no. <laughs> <laughs> because people told me uh, last, ye- last two, three years ago when I stayed there, you know, I haven't been in Thailand for a long time now. And they say, after February end, end of February, you must run. <laughs> run out of the country of Thailand. And it really was like that. Approaching the uh, uh, end of February, it became oh, unbearably hot. Now, with air con and all this, you still feel, oh, it's very really uncomfortable, and it's glaring outside your window. Mm. But this time, oh my God, every day is so cool and cloudy. Uh, sometimes you see the sun, but after five o'clock in the evening, when it's already cool. So all the golfer love it, all the worker, you know, construction site worker, oh, they celebrate. Yeah. When I first came, it, it rained the first times for so long, and everybody jump and shout, and all the children run around naked, you know? And all the men with the shorts, you know? <laughs> yeah, they run around in the rain, and they went crazy, they went nuts. <laughs> it has been raining for so long when I first came there. And it, it rained immediately, you know? When I arrived, oh, everybody jumped and shouted, and wow, and me too. <laughs> I thought, how can Thailand be so lovely, you know? It's not always as cool as this, but it's cool every day, almost every day, yeah, almost every day, yeah. And some, some day even power cut, and we still can bear it. No fan, no electricity, nothing, and we still sleep through the night. <laughs> like old time. Mm. So it was wonderful, and it's still wonderful. I think, I think weather change, huh? all the nice weather come to, 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 to how say, come to us now, the, the, the Asian people. So you snowflake bodhisattva better move, huh? <laughs> move back to where you belong, huh? <laughs> last life. Huh? <gasps> mm. But maybe the Korean monk wear this kind of robe, he's too hot, no? Is that right? <laughs> you can make it thinner, huh? Mm. But inside wear thick underwear, then it's all right. <laughs> yeah, otherwise see through. We also no need. <laughs> or wear flower among drops, yeah. Flowery among drops. Flower and dark color don't see, yeah. The wind blowing, I already put my hair like this and it blows in my trouble for me. Yeah? Still okay. Like this, the hair don't come down so much. Okay. Now let's uh, talk about Buddha businesses. Huh? It's a little bit more serious. Mm. Does it look good? I don't want my photo to look bad, you know. It doesn't sell otherwise. <laughs> Actually, um, some people criticize me, like, uh, how come I hang so many photos? I don't even really hang myself anywhere. <laughs> it's just you who hang them around, huh? Hang on your neck, uh, your ears, and <laughs> your wisdom eye, <laughs> your chest, everywhere, and hang it around the hall and anywhere, even in Buddha's temple. <laughs> Make trouble for me yesterday. <laughs> Huh? Next time, if you want to decorate the Buddha, please use some flower, huh? Or, or wallpaper or something. Huh? Don't use my photo, huh? <laughs> People misunderstand. Uh, but they don't know that all, oh, most, or many, a lot of my money come from these photos, huh? Hmm? Even it doesn't look so good, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't hang myself. I sell myself. <laughs> Actually, we didn't mean to sell so much. Yeah, so much money because I say, oh, never mind. If the people like it, they can take it. Yeah, no need to sell. 
But my disciple, they complain. They said, then how we develop again? How will we have the money to develop again? First, and, I say, say, and then I said, okay, then don't have to sell too expensive. Just sell, you know, the cost, huh? the printing cost, developing cost. They said, no, no, no. And then the, the oil, you know, the petrol cost and the personnel cost and the camera cost and the cameraman cost, you know? <laughs> yeah? the caramel cost and everything. I said, well, then sell all these costs only. And then they, then the, the developing, 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 uh, I would say, shop, they complain. They said, no, 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 no. Ma'am, you can't do that. Because you have to sell the same price like us. Otherwise, you damage our business and we will not develop for you anymore. If you keep selling it so cheap, we stop developing it for you, ma'am. So that's that. Now, do you understand? Is it clear or not? <laughs> so I say, yes, sir, three bags full. Three bags full of photo developed already. <laughs> developed. <laughs> yes, yes. So that's why you have to pay for <laughs> the, the developer cost. And then, you know, like outside. Hmm. God wants me to earn money with my appearance, so let it be. Huh? Hmm. If you don't have the money, just tell the cashier, say, oh, please take pity on me. You know? <laughs> Give me one for free. <laughs> Probably she will. Those are damaged that people don't like. <laughs> Cut in half or something like that. <laughs> the head here and the body there, you, know, you can pass them together. <laughs> they still look like me. Huh? <laughs> Again, I forgot. What was it? <laughs> Who was it? Huh? Serious Buddha. Serious Buddha. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be serious. <laughs> All right. Come back to the same point. Many days before, like who's a Buddha, you know, and who's not. Actually, each one of us is a Buddha, a God, at least part of God, huh? part from the whole. So anything that is apart from a whole means has the same quality anyhow. So we are the mini-God, huh? understand? So, and we are the Master. Each one of you is a Master, the Supreme Master as that. Huh? <sighs> But because you have created your own situation and circumstances in which you can thrive and you can recognize your own mastership, that's why you suffer a lot and you have to undergo a lot of ungodly situation and quality ah, and, and uh, uh, kind of carrying around kind of ungodly quality and do many so-called ungodly things. It is, but because we, when we descend into this world, we forget, we relinquish our, relinquished our right as a God, as a Buddha, as a Master, so that we can undergo the journey that we have planned to undergo. And we can call upon ourselves misery, disaster, darkness, so that we can experience the opposite of God-like character, and so that we can reclaim ourselves, you know, and with all right and glory that I am God, and there is nothing better than me, because I have tried, okay? I have told you already. And that is why I also told you that we cannot force people into returning to Godhood if they don't want to, because they have uh, let down their own plan of enlightenment, their own uh, project of returning to the kingdom. Hmm? Nevertheless, as God, of course, we can always uh, call it a quit, you know, but normally 
we don't. Because also as God, we stick to our own project, and we even ever create it anew. Hmm? So if we are clever, we can also create new situations, and don't stick to the old one, huh? or create extra situations, so that even though we stick to the old one, we are more comfortable when we have a new plan also. And from the new plan, will spring new opportunity, huh? a new situation, so that we can return to the kingdom of God quicker than huh? uh, others. But normally, they, normally it's difficult. Once we relinquished our power and come into the dark region of creation, very difficult to reclaim the light again. It takes a lot of effort. Huh? Uh, for example, if a king he relinquished his king, kingdom huh, to someone and give his, his throne temporarily even to someone, oh, it's difficult to come back after uh, ten years or twenty years and say, hey, <laughs> Huh? You know, huh? it used to belong to me, now step down. After twenty years, <laughs> maybe nobody remember that you were king even. Huh? And how you get near the kingdom? How, with a passport, huh? talk about that huh? first, or visa. Huh? Mm. And then uh, who will let you go near to the palace? Not to talk about step to the throne and say to the king at present time, say, <laughs> you can get, get down you. <laughs> Understand? Before you can approach the king, you are already in jail, and you are in more trouble than not. Huh? And maybe you have lost all your money while you are in the journey, huh? and then you cannot even get back to your country, not talk about go to the throne and reclaim your own glory and power. But of course, in the kingdom of God, nobody is sitting there in your own throne and claim it and not to give it back to you. It is just that the situation get worse and worse and worse along the road if you will not uh, try to remember who you are. And even if you try, it's difficult. How can you re remember God when every day your wife and kids want bread and water to survive, when you yourself need the minimum to survive? Even, huh? In some of the situation, it's really desperate. You can't remember God if your stomach is keep holding inside. Howling, howling, howling inside and say, Oh, I'm hungry. I want something. <laughs> yes, the voice in our stomach will be louder than the voice of God, <laughs> even the Kuan Yin sound. So it's very difficult for us, once we left the kingdom of God, to remember it again. But nevertheless, the Master will be sent. The Master are those who already have undergone their journey and know every tricks and trades in the business, and then can help us yeah, with, a, with a hand and bring it back. And it is better that way. But eventually, any soul will return to its own glory in time. Take longer or shorter, depends on its desire. Some soul can, can desire to come earlier. Hmm? But some soul decided, decided to stay longer, despite the suffering and the hardship, so that he can create more and learn more about the opposite direction and quality of God. So when he returns, he feels more <laughs> secure, more confident about what he is. These are greater master even with a lot more experience, a lot more power, a lot more uh, mm, talent, and a lot more of the know-how technique, how to deal with every and each different situation in this world. And sometimes sometimes this kind of master has already mastered their own destiny eh? and reclaimed their own kingdom and power, but they still decide to come back again and again into the physical world, 
in order to help other souls who need more help than ordinary soul. Some souls are more clever or they let down the easy plan for them to walk so they can um, go easy, quicker, hmm? or they don't suffer so much. And <laughs> some souls let down hardship for themselves. Well, nobody can choose the same path all the time. Eh? Eh? The souls will not choose a copycat way to walk their uh, journey. Uh, and so sometimes the soul choose a very, very, very delicate and very difficult and intru- intriguing path to walk. And this they encounter a lot, a lot of trouble, a lot of misery, a lot of hardship, a lot of suffering, and insurmountable task sometimes. So they need a really special master, if there is one. And if there is such a master available or willing to sacrifice their bliss and happiness, in order to come down to share the journey and the suffering with these kind of souls. Because sometimes it's too hard for the soul to bear, then the soul will cry out, Help! 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 <laughs> Even a very, very faint soul, a sound from the soul will be heard from the Master. And if he cries from his heart, then the Master will come, without initiation even. Even if the soul's time has not come and cannot meet the Master in the physical body, the Master would appear eh? invisibly or in a dream or in a vision to help that soul because every soul needs help <laughs> when they undergo this kind of journey into this terrible domain of darkness. Not that darkness presides over this world or the neither world in that matter. It's just that we call upon ourselves darkness so that it cover our soul, cover our entire journey or some part of our journey so that we cannot see the light even though it is right in front of us. So the soul, huh? in desperate situation, we call out for help. And the Master or the God, God, you know, the Godhead is always in the near. So never any soul walks a lonely path alone. It's always the assistance of the so-called guardian angels, the Master huh? of higher order. It depends on how difficult the situation the soul gets him, himself into in, uh, into uh, the, the, the higher the the higher or the lower order of help will be dispatched. Hmm? No normal situation, maybe just angels or guardian spirits. And in the more difficult situation, the desperate situation, the master must come. The master of a higher order, of the highest order, must come in the most uh, emergency case. Huh. So never a soul walk lonely in darkness. But sometimes, if he it, if the soul created too much difficulty for itself, I mean, in, before he came to this world, huh? until he get into the difficulty, he's already miles, uh, miles, you know, mired himself into darkness, into misery, already and separate too long, and he, because he created so much trouble or so much misery for other soul as well, you know, by doing so, by uh, by by uh, trying to deny his godness, yeah, godliness. He creates so much misery and so much so-called sin already. Then he will feel that he not deserve help. Therefore, he could not even call out for help. Therefore, there is such thing as hell, but not permanent. There are no such thing as permanent hell. But for us, <laughs> for a miserable and lonely soul at that time, hell is eternal. Every misery second is eternal to any soul who suffers that kind of situation. Is that not so? <laughs> and any uh, long period of happiness is seconds to us. It's like seconds. Uh, it never lasts so long. It seems flash, you know, like a flash is gone. <laughs> I suddenly sit here and then, huh? Lecture ends already? <laughs> the barbecue finished? Come on. I have just sat down. I've just uh, eaten about 20 chapatis and 20 
ham, sausage, vegetarian, chicken, and not, not much. <laughs> oh, talking about that, I'm hungry. <laughs> I only ate breakfast yet. Today, really, I didn't cheat you. <laughs> I didn't even forget. I only ate breakfast this morning, some toast and jam, <laughs> fattening stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, so uh, such uh, happiness hours when we spend together, uh, our days even seem so fast. But misery, miserable time, <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> it's dures like, dures like uh, uh, eternity. Uh, and that's why we call eternal hell. But there is no such thing as permanent hell or eternal suffering, eternal damnation. Don't you ever believe in this? But it is, in a sense, because suffering endures so long, hmm? and it's terrible. Whenever you get hurt, you know, or when doctor has to operate on you or hurt or something, oh my God, it seems like you want to run out of it any second if you can, you know, when your all bandages all over and your hand are tied on bed or tied with a serum bottle, yeah, and blood bottle or you know all the blood. Uh, squeezing blood bottle hanging all over your body because they want to take the extra blood from the wound, you know, so that it runs out and don't uh, clog your system. And you hang all over and, oh my God, you feel like you're suffocated, you know, in suffering, and you want to pluck them all out and run, you know. Then it takes a long time. Even just one or two days like this, you feel so frustrated and so agitated, huh? So. <laughs> So so impatient, even though if you are patient, <laughs> people keep calling you patient, patient, because you are so impatient. <laughs> it happened to me, eh? But nevertheless, you know, in any situation, doesn't matter how bad the soul is in, or how bad it creates the circumstances for itself, the soul, its soul is the master, its God, is the Buddha. There's no mistake about this. Never make any mistake about this. It just takes longer time to realize Buddhahood. <laughs> if we find ourselves into an undeserving situation and deny ourselves the right even to pray for help. At that time, we suffer terribly, terribly. We suffer so great a loneliness that is equal to the worst hell <laughs> that we can imagine. We feel like we are the most terrible being, you understand? And we suffer, suffer. Whatever we did to others, we suffer the same, same feeling. And that's what we call hell. That's why we should, as a practitioner, since we already know the way of God, we should never ever create the new situation again, in which we have to suffer the same consequence that we create. That's why we must keep the precept, keep our mind, uh, speech, and action pure. Huh? Not that because I say so, not it's because God will punish us, but because we will suffer, and we will get uh, very far away from godlyhood, Godhood and we will feel very miserable and unworthy indeed. That's why we must recite the five names all the time, because that's the God quality that you are reciting. It's not the names. And also it is the name, the holy name of the five Buddhas, five gods, you know, in the five levels of consciousness. But it is representing, they are representing the God quality in the different level, you understand? I just like I say, my foot, my knee, my solar plexus, my heart, my chest, my neck, my mouth, my eyes, my forehead, they're all mine, even though they are different function, different level. Huh? Nobody would like to l look at my feet all the time, but nevertheless it's my feet. It's okay. Once you touch my feet, it's my body too. So the disciple like to touch the Master's feet. That's why the master feet must be always clean in case. <laughs> I never liked to use perfume before. <laughs> I mean, after being a monk, a nun, 
But lately, because since I have many disciples, I always try to grasp my feet and my hand, whatever. So I have to, you know, spray some something, you know, where they grab the most. <laughs> Mm. It's just in case, you know, not everybody grab my feet some, all the time, but sometimes they do, you know, they do it. <laughs> Suddenly I didn't have time to even defend for myself, <laughs> so I defend it with perfume. <laughs> Why would the soul choose to have a difficult situation? Why does the soul just take God's level? Why does the soul choose difficult, create its for itself difficulty instead of choosing God, yes. God level? I told you yesterday already. Experience? Yes. You have to, you have to create situations so that you can recognize your power of overcoming it, of uh, of uh, uh, winning all this. What is not yourself? Eh? Winning the opposite to your power. In order to win the opposite of your power, you have to create it. And then show your strength. Ah, otherwise, what is the God there for? Okay, now fancy the God sitting there all the time. Ah, and say, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. And everything is beautiful, and he eat. He couldn't even eat. He's, he's a God. He doesn't need food. Huh? And he say, okay, well, did he dress up. What for does he dress up if he's already a God? Nobody see him. He's a God, one and only. You see? And he went, hey, what shall he do then? It's just there is a God, Almighty, all-pervading, and nothing else. Ah, then there will be just like a foggy or brilliant light all over places, and that's it. No me, no you, no flower, no tree, nothing. So in order to enjoy it more also, hmm, to prove that He is a God, He has to create something. So if He create another God, then what is the use? You understand? Two gods sitting, facing each other. <laughs> And say, what now? <laughs> My love. <laughs> so I thought he has to create something to play with, yeah, or to prove the power, or just to be, to be God. God is creative. Well, put it that way, huh? Maybe that's his job. He has to create, and in order to create a lot of things, he has to set himself apart, and each one assign different function, huh? Just like a theater, no? He cannot play alone, even though he's a director. Uh, he has to assign Stephen one role, and the other one must do the bad guy. If everybody is good guy in the movies, how, how you play it? Now you got it. Uh, so, and as actor and actresses, uh, you be assigned different roles, and you don't mind. Uh, you play the bad guy or you play a good guy it's okay. The money is all good. <laughs> You like that, huh? <laughs> and the fame is still good, all the same. Huh? Mm. The karma is not the same, though. What, honey? The karma is not the, the, is not the same. Well, it's well, uh, only in the movies afterward <laughs> it's the same. So similarly, as God, or as a part of God, we did not have any fear to undertake anything before we came into this world. We just say, okay to any role that's assigned to us. As a god, how would you fear anything? Huh? Thing like that, okay? So in order to make it more abundant, then uh, each god has to create a situation for himself and no copycat. How can a god copy another, you know? <laughs> so he has to make it more dramatic, you know? More creative. Whatever he creates is fine. He can create good, he can create evil, he can create bad, he can create a favorable situation, whatever it is, is God. I mean, God doesn't care. How can a God care that, oh, that's scary, I'm not going there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so, no, that's a bad role, I won't play. That's bad for my re re reputation. <laughs> you know, God as God, you will never ever think anything like that. In fact, you don't think, just automatically create. And now, that's the danger. When we come into this world, we already forgotten our power and our glory, and we create always a new, a new thing. And that's why they're more and more complicated each day. And then one day we will suffer a lot, and we call out, help. Huh? 
because at that time, <laughs> sometimes we forgot also that we got, and with the mind try to create also something. Eh? Or the effect of this creation and that creation match together, make a third creation. And the third creation uh, breed another fourth creation. And the two and four mix together, make it become seven other creation, all different character, even have a little bit diluted of this kind of character of the first creation, but not the same. That's why all persons look not alike. And all ch your children, doesn't matter how much they look like you, they still don't look like you that much. You understand what I mean? Huh? See? They look more like the cross between you two. Or not at all. Or just eyes look like you, but nose look like the neighbor. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Don't look at your children's nose. <laughs> then you don't suffer. <laughs> like the man yesterday who asked his wife whether the, the, the last and the most ugly child is his. <laughs> so his wife has to say, no, no, he's yours. Only the other two are not. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> All right. Uh, where were we now? Oh, yeah. This old age is really terrible. Where were we? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, fine. So, uh, as a God, huh? even if God is divided into different parts, huh? God cannot tell God, that, uh, you know, don't create this, uh, don't create that. God is always ever free. There are no evils in God's terminology. But that doesn't mean evil doesn't exist, huh? Please, please. Huh? There's no evil in God's plan. It's just different creation, so that things become more complicated, more colorful, <laughs> and more exciting, like a thriller movie, or like a, a spy movies, you know? Mm. If, if like a Schwarzenegger... Huh? Huh? Is that his name? Huh? Ar Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, if, if, if he's the one who played the good guy, right? Yeah. And then uh, no other character accompany him who played the bad guy. How can he destroy the enemy? How can he blast the bomb into their camp? Or how can he become a hero in the film, you know, of his country, if there's nothing else for him to play with? And other actors and actresses, doesn't matter how bad the role they play, because the director already assigns... Sw sw uh, Arnold, the good, uh, <laughs> is that right? The the good good role already. Uh, you cannot two play together same role. Is that right? Never even in family no. Hmm? Uh, because in the family only one boss. And normally it's your wife. <laughs> so there's no need for you, <laughs> not necessary at all, to play that role. <laughs> So just keep aside and be the deputy, okay? <laughs> and somebody has to do something else, right? So you, you, you be the good guy and play the second part. <laughs> so similarly, before the creation began, each of us want to do something, right? Or God, the God of all God, of all of us, or the main part of the whole, told us, okay, let's do something. Huh? We all sit here together in one, <laughs> all in one, and all as one, and all is uh, nothing. It's all boring, so we divide, huh? And then each go different direction and do different things. Okay or not? Oh, so they say, all right. <laughs> and then uh, each one do something. Why not, huh? So now, if I, <laughs> if I said to my foot, please walk, if I said to my feet, please walk, would my feet say, come on, me? Why? <laughs> Why do I have to walk every day? I'm so tired of it already. I want to do something else. Oh, what can he do, the feet? What can the feet do now? Huh? Can, can the feet eat something? No. Not at all. Hmm? <laughs> 
So the feet can only walk, okay? If the feet refuse to walk, then uh, the whole thing be in trouble. Hmm? Cannot exist, cannot function. All the feet and the hand, it's just like uh, if the hand uh, complains, oh, I walk all the time, I have to walk every day just to feed him, the mouse. Yeah. And I have to walk, the feet say, yeah, me too, I have to walk mice, or I have to, uh, you know, uh, carry the whole body so that he can eat. Huh? No, we don't work anymore. Now the feet and the hands went on strike. Ah, the mouth have nothing to eat. Okay, that's good for a while, and I feel good, the hand and the feet. But after a while, what happened then? The, the heart slowed down, the liver complain, the gastric system went out berserk, when it berserk, yeah, producing gastric all the time, it nothing to digest, and the feet and the hand became like instant noodle with, <laughs> with boiling water over it. Ah, see that? So they decided to work again. Huh? Same with us, same with us. Yeah, same with us. Sometimes we suffer <laughs> because we have forgotten that it is our assigned job and we complain, and we don't want to do it anymore. We die, we commit suicide, things like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we have to do, come back again and finish the job, because the whole creation depends on each one of us to function. So think of it, how important you are in this universe. You are not just nobody, even if you are not enlightened, even you are not the Kuan Yin practitioners, even if you are very lowly, Anyone is a part of the whole. That's why I told you never to m- mistreat others, never to complain about others, never criticize them. You know, whatever you can change, change. Huh? Whatever you feel uncomfortable about others, you tell them, of course. You know, but not uh, uh, in a uh, bad spirit. Yeah, you know? tell them and change it. And if you cannot, then avoid it. I never tell you to love thy neighbor, the tiger. Hmm? If it's a tiger next door, don't love it. <laughs> don't go and find the tiger and hug it and say, I, I prove my love to all creation equally. It is not possible to do that. Okay? Ah, so now. Avoid, huh? if you can, whatever the situation. After you cannot change it, you can just drop it, huh? create new situation. Uh, and enjoy new, okay? But the best thing for us is we have to always create something so that we can always remind ourselves as God and try to also create situation so that other people will be reminded free willingly, uh, free willingly who they are, if we can. And that's our duty, uh, but not forced upon by tricks, but just logically, uh, let them understand, let them remember, because the soul understands logic and reason. And that's the only tool we can use in this world to help the soul return to the kingdom of God. That's agreement between each of the souls before they descend into this world, that other people can, other soul can help him to fasten or to quicken their journey, but not magic. Not any miracle thing like this can do in the inner world, in the secret, between the way, you know? Between the curtain of darkness is light, is the inner world, peace, harmony, miracle, fulfillment, contentment, and love. Behind that curtain is our private household. Anyone can enter, anyone with Kuan Yin power can enter behind the curtain and have a private meeting with the Master, with other Master soul, to get help, you know what I mean? And come out again, surviving in this world. That's why mostly you pray to the Master, you, you see all your Master inside, help you, you see? No one else know about it. Even if the persons are next to you, often don't see Master, sometimes do, but only rarely, you understand what I mean? Every miracle, every help must be rendered in secret. Because that is agreement between the souls. You know why we can do that? 
because at that time the soul is allowed to step back into the kingdom of God for a while, you know, into these five worlds, five spiritual worlds, instead of remaining in the physical world. So whatever we want to get help, if we not bear, cannot bear this world, and if we forgot our wisdom, we can forgot our nature, Buddha nature, we must step inside that curtain, you see, where our private house is, where we regain, you know, part or whole or some of our Buddha nature again. Yeah? We step back into the kingdom, in the circle of sainthood, and there we can have secret meeting and say, Oh God, really, my job is difficult. Give me some tip quickly. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, as master souls together, we are allowed to discuss as adult, you know what I mean? As uh, masters together already. But when you step back out of that black curtain again, back into the darkness, into the physical world, you are not allowed to be master anymore. You forget immediately what you are, just like the day you descended in earth, on earth. And that is a part of the agreement. That's a part of the game of the universe. So if you understand all this, Suffering is not real suffering anymore. It doesn't mean it, it won't hurt you if somebody stab you on the leg, yeah, or shoot you, or curse you, or, or humiliate you, or try to do something that harmful to you. It hurts you. <laughs> but overall, this wisdom helps us to sustain our peace. Huh? Only the physical body suffer, the brain suffer, but we have somehow this basic peacefulness within us huh? most of the time. So even we suffer for a while, we regain our smile immediately, almost, or very quickly. And that's the, that's the good thing about remembering who you are and regain the Godhood. Each soul is already a Buddha, so he can anytime try to create something new for himself if he doesn't like the thing that he create. Yeah? He can either walk the whole journey or he creates something aside so that there's another effect come out of it and then he he to continue that way and then he don't have to continue this way too. See? So once you walk into master circle, you can forsake whatever plan you have still in front of you, or whatever affected or extra plan or the branches of the plan that you have made before or have been created out of the karmic connection with the old pattern of life and the old creation that you have made. See? Can create new or what or right here. And then the you know, the path is still there but unwalked, left. And grass, mud, everything will cover it and <laughs> nothing more. Huh? Okay. That's how karma can be acquitted. Ah, can be left can be burnt away, can be erased. No problem. The Master can do that. Just drag you to another direction. Come here, you! <laughs> and then, because at that time the soul wants it. If the soul doesn't concern, uh, doesn't, how say, consent, consent, then it, 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 it's not possible. Because so is a Buddha. How, how dare you? Nobody can dare to do anything to a Buddha or try to influence a Buddha. And the Master soul knows this too, even though he at that time doesn't remember as a Buddha, but the Buddha must respect the Buddha all the same, because the Master knows. The, 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 the sentient being doesn't know, or disciple doesn't know, but the Master knows it. He is a Buddha soul. So if he just say no, it's no. You understand what I mean? Ah, that's why you always ask me, why the Buddha or the Master don't just uh, drag him? You know, make miracle, blind him into love. <laughs> you know, uh, turn his heart, turn his mind, use miracle thing like nah, can't, <laughs> no can do. <laughs> if can do, then no need, no need uh, Buddha, no need Lao Tzu, no need Jesus even. Uh, other already did it before him, huh? Or if no one else came before Jesus, then at least Jesus is enough. One, huh? The one and only Son of God, He did it enough, no? He would turn all the world into angel. And me, you already sit up there and drink tea by now. <laughs> no need to work so hard. See what I mean, honey? Yeah, got it? Yes. 
So that's why I never am in a hurry to try to force anyone into Guanyin method. So you don't worry. See, you have printed a lot of millions, millions of copies of sample booklet in all different languages. How many souls come here to me? Huh? Every month you have how many new brothers and sisters born? Huh? Your mother is really slow. Huh? <laughs> 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 it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. Okay, you understand now? Mm. So that because uh, the soul sometimes decided that he uh, he don't want to uh, go back to the kingdom so soon. Huh? He like to create even more situation. Huh? But normally the soul would try to create the quickest possible. Uh, uh, as a situation for himself, so that he can come back to the kingdom of God. But because uh, the creation is not always uh, fixed, huh? so whatever you create, sometimes breed another creation, another situation, and so on, and so on, and so on. God is free. God is not predictable. God is not the one who predicts the future and say, I create this, and it will become that, and then I will get that, and I will get this. Ah, then it's no fun anymore. But even if God knows that, our physical brain and body and function doesn't know. Therefore, we still suffer. <laughs> there is still fun. <laughs> you understand? Ah, because we have forgotten what we are doing and what we have done. Even unconsciously, we create new situation every day, but we also sometimes don't know it, and we blame the neighbors, blame the hardship, blame the suffering, or blame God for this. Actually, it's all our own doing. But I tell you what, there is no such thing as a theater drama plan like God already created everything and assigned somebody a role, and the role remained like that. You know what I mean? Ah, maybe he's a bad guy, okay, but eventually he will become good. But that's not predictable. You understand what I mean? Each soul must create his own creation and journey. And therefore, you see, each one will beget something that he creates. And that makes life different everywhere, every time, to everybody. But the soul can be tired after playing too long, and now he wants to rest. Then he calls out, and the master soul who has already finished, or who is willing to come and help such a soul, will come to him, or will be born into his vicinity, and then to meet him. Are born in His Word, and create something so that they both will meet. But the soul, that soul, must be really yearning, must really want to go home. Otherwise, everyone is free, huh? You go, you stay. Who cares? Each soul is the creation, the Creator itself, and make a real creation for themselves. So, uh, anyhow, every time, because we create things with our thought, you know, and with our action, and with our speech too. They are all powerful tools of creation. So don't you ever undermine your thinking, your speech, and your action. They create a new, different situation for you immediately, or tomorrow, or the next day, or next year, you will experience the effect. So always keep your mind in God if you really want to go back to the kingdom. And don't have to, don't step in a new mud, you know, and sink there. That's why precepts, five names, recite always a godly quality, reminding yourself. Huh? Because you're reciting inside your head, you know, so your thought is pure. Always thinking of, you know, those five names are godly quality. God, 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 God. <laughs> and then because if you speak the names only, you know, then it become a habit like lip service or tongue service, and the mind will be free to wonder and thought, all kind of thing, all kind of thing, and it creates new trouble for you. So you have to recite in the mind, <laughs> because the thought are the most uh, powerful creative tool of all. Huh? But because. You know, if you don't recite in the mind, you have to recite with the mouth, right? But the mouth are using for eating, talking, and blah, blah, nonsense, singing, all that. So if you can 
If you use a mouth, you can use only uh, some time. And how about the time you cannot use it? Then now you have two enemies, the mind thinking all the time already bad things, and the mouth also <laughs> talking nonsense too. Uh, it's n- not used in godly quality. You know what I mean? For we have t- trouble now. And the thinking will control the action and the speech as well. And now you have even worse. You're in worse situation. So the mind we have to control. We control not by uh, trying to, to hold it or hang on to something, but just have to recite the godly name. And every other other uh, uh, negative thing will be running away. Huh? If you have light, darkness not. If you have darkness, light is not. So bring light into your mind. Bring God quality and thinking. Don't have to even think. Once you, 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 you recite that name, that means you're thinking of that quality already. <laughs> you cannot think of anything else at the moment. Huh? Because normally the mind can only think one thing at a time. Is that not so? Oh, so if you think of that five names, you, you hardly can think of anything else. So just try to remember, to remember this kind of godly quality all the time. Then you are controlled, speech and body as well. Huh? That's why we have to do it. And these are the highest quality of God, the five qualities that I have imparted to you, and is charged with the power of realization and authority from the Most High. That's why it has the effect, the check with a big account backing it up. <laughs> you like that, huh? When I talk about money, your eyes lit up <laughs> and you clap so loud. <laughs> so, because uh, our mind sometimes wonder, huh? Mm. And so even if we recite the godly quality, huh, our body and our speech still sometimes don't work accordingly. So we have to make the whole body sit still and the mouth shut. <laughs> or sometimes of the day, one percent, oh no, ten percent of the day. That will, you know, make up for the time we lost, yeah? to, Im- to purify our speech and our action. We sit there, we do nothing cannot be too harm, too harmful. Hmm? At that time the mind is still wandering, but the body cannot do anything. <laughs> and the tongue cannot speak because huh? we have rules. We cannot speak in the in the retreat, huh? Or at the time of uh, meditation or group meditation. And that's why meditation is also good for you. And then when you still your body and your mind and you can listen to God sometimes. Or you can slowly digest what you have heard in the teaching and you uh, accumulate more of the uh, concentrated power of your realization and use it for when the time that you cannot concentrate so much. Huh? Just like you tank your car with uh, uh, petrol huh? and run highway, you know, many hundred miles until it runs out huh? or almost then you have to re- refill it again, otherwise you stop. Hmm? <laughs> So everything is logical to you, huh? Not trying to force you or make it superstitious about running method or God or anything mysterious about it. There's nothing mysterious about it. I cannot teach you because you are God. Anything cheating, you will know it. Even you don't tell me, <laughs> you will know it, because you are God. Your soul is God and is Buddha. <laughs> so any, <laughs> only pure. Purity, only the pure truth, the whole truth, and the, the whole sincerity can touch <laughs> your godly soul and make you listen and make you accept. You can only accept the best from any master. And that's the duty of a master to always have to offer the best and the purest teaching and the most sincerity. And that's all there is. Ah. And hey, nothing else can 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 you accept? That's why the real master has to be real, <laughs> huh? Otherwise, he create better worse karma for himself too. You see, that's why the master cannot uh, live uh, falsehood; <laughs> must live the truth. Otherwise, if he live falsehood, wow, he's terrible. He cheats so many people. He <laughs> go down where you know. Hmm? 
That's very terrible. And that's why the, one of the precepts of the Buddhists is that you never can boast what you are not. See? You cannot tell uh, people lie about your realization if you don't have it. Say, so I already came to the fourth level, you know, when you are only there, only at the floor level. Mm. So, <laughs> most people when they meditate, they, they don't see anything. Only dogs, so they say they are on the fourth level. <laughs> I say, that's on the floor level, not the fourth. <laughs> And never mind, never mind, God knows what you're doing. If you're sincere, it's okay. Hmm? Sometimes we undergo darkness. Or maybe before you call darkness too much and now left over, you have to take care and digest it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, have I finished? Yes, just about it, huh? One hour, honey, enough. No translation even, you see? Pure one hour. Hmm. It's okay, ten o'clock, I think we call it a night. Huh? And go to sleep. Mm, okay, huh? And since the people in there already saw me in the TV screen, so uh, goodbye, huh? Uh, I go to sleep. I still stay here for a while, you know, if nothing urgent that I have to leave. So if you want to stay some more days, it's all right. But uh, you must forgive us if, if things are not uh, the way you want it, or as, like at home, because we live miles from uh, civilization, and the transportation and everything is difficult. Do you know that? And uh, people don't dare to come to this area after five o'clock, because they cannot get back to the capital before dark. You know? Uh, because um, before, even before, you know, you could not even uh, 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 drive in this uh, highway. Just uh, one or two years, or yeah, just just when I came, just when I came, the roads finished. <laughs> there was no highway road before. You know, the road in front. You know, that's the road that linked the whole nation, uh, national highway. It has not been finished. Just when I came. Just finished when I came. Yeah. Uh? And now you can use it. Uh, I mean, uh, when I came uh, first here, okay, uh, and just right in front of our house, <laughs> so nice. So, but you should know, huh? Don't walk around an age. Huh? Don't try to sneak into somewhere that you don't know, huh? And when you hear a sound louder than the inner sound, then you know what happened to you. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. So don't don't try to wander around. Try to avoid. Okay, huh? Of course, whatever happened will happen, but if don't try to uh, walk your <laughs> unchalked, uh, unchalked uh, say, uh, path, huh? uh, but it, unless that is your intention before you came down to this world, then I don't interfere. Uh, <laughs> it's not a joking matter, but still, if you can laugh at it, it's good. That means you are very funny. <laughs> But don't cry <laughs> if something happens. I don't think anything happened to you if it's not your karma, okay? If it does, then you should know that you are the God and you created it for yourself. I told you today, huh? Here, you, you be very sincere. <laughs> I every day meditate dil diligently and always recite the five names non stop. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you, <laughs> you become Buddha quicker in Cambodia. Hmm? Why not, huh? Maybe that's your plan before you came here, you know? Just give me any plan so I remember God quicker and permanently. <laughs> ah. So that's a good effect from, from, from this center, you know? Okay, so you know, huh? You take the challenge, huh? Or you leave it, honey. <laughs> it's all up to you. <laughs> if you like to come, you come, huh? Don't say it's me, huh? I don't try to charm you into this kind of situation ever. So I have to tell you everything. <laughs> Okay, huh? Mm.